KG Oro, I live in Brooklyn. KG Oro, I live in Brooklyn. If your car break down, you know the call. If your car break down, you know the call. Call three, four, seven, three, eight, five, nine, zero, eight, zero. Let's go. Yeah, good morning, viewer. KG Oro, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching me, you're quite welcome if you're a return customer. I appreciate it. What we have in 2017 is a Toyota RAV4. I'm going to be replacing the. I'm going to be replacing the fuel injector. Apparently, number two of um, number two of this vehicle. I changed the spark plug and I changed the the ignition coil, but the the car is still misfiring. So. We're moving to the last stop now to change this fuel injector. The number two fuel injector, I'm going to replace it on this car. So I'm going to bring you guys along and show you how to do this job. Please consider subscribing. It takes one to no one. It takes two to tango. As you said, that KG, you know my slogan. Let's go. Let's go. We're getting it right now. All right, so what we're going to do first, we're going to take off this guy. Let's pull it up. Yankee, this house. The fuel injector is gonna be in the back there. Right here, I'll bring the camera so you guys can see it. But I might have to disconnect some uh, disconnectable wire right here. So we're going to the back here, let me bring the camera. So this is where we're gonna be working. See the fuel injector there. Is where we're gonna be walking, so we're gonna. I'm gonna take out this um, this guy right here, pull that guy out. All of that, all right, KG. So we're just gonna go out there like this, come on, and get some action. from AutoZone, I used to disconnect the, the fuel line. Yeah, so if you look down here, you see I disconnected all this wire, so I just decided to like tie it up, you know, so I can have enough space. I disconnected the 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 connector already, so we're gonna lose this guy right here, and lose that guy right there, so we can take up this uh, for uh, it's kind of difficult to video because something's on the way back here. So the most difficult thing here that I feel might be really difficult is this guy right here. Once you can be able to take off that guy, the rest is history. 
All right, let me go ahead on. So there's a 12 volt here we need to lose. There's one right here. So once we lose that, we should have a little separation. But the only thing we just want to be mindful of when we're pulling it out, we want to make sure that the, the seal, I'll show you guys. So see, it's moving right now. So we just want to be mindful so we don't lose the rubber. All right, so let me go ahead and pull it out. I can't do that with my one hand recording and the other hand working. So out. if you look at this fuel injector, you can see, it's really dead, as uh, you can see. If you look at it closely, you see that little tiny holes there. So sometimes they tend to block, so the thing will not be fired. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, though, I'm gonna change this one. I'll just uh, tell the owner to buy me like a gas cleaner so I can clean up the rest and make sure that everything fire through there and uh, make sure everything is working well. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead now, get a cleaner, and uh, we'll take care of business. And I want to look through the back there to make sure those rubbers, they're still there. If not, those little things can get you in trouble. KG, stay tuned. So if you look down here, I should have, you know, blow it up a little bit before I start. You see on this last hole here, you see the rubber is not there. See, when you look on this side, see there are rubbers there. This one right here, see yeah. That one don't have the rubber. This one does. This one does, and this one does. So I just want to be mindful to take out that leaves there. See that leaves right there? I should have blow it up first so that that leaves don't fall inside. And you make sure you see this black thing right here. Let me make sure I got that one for you. See this black thing right here? This one right here. Make sure that thing it's still there because that's where the 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 foil ring is going to sit if not you tie it the thing will be leaking so just be mindful is a job that you have to be very careful when you're doing it so i'm going to try to see if i can blow this thing out from there maybe i have to find something to close the hole there and blow it out all right kg so I'm gonna clean this to the best of my ability. So I bought a thrower body. Clean it out. The best. Just the mantra as well. There's a little a rubber at the rest here and there. So I don't need to clean this one because uh, it's gonna go like this. So this is the number two. We're gonna replace this number two, which is this one right here. And pull it out. So you have a little rubber that's going on. So we're replacing that number two. He bought it already. So we're going to put the rest. Yeah, no problem. Got it. All right, so I try to clean it to the best of my ability. So this is the one that he bought. Uh, this is the part number. Very from Arch. The part number right there. So it says gasoline and uh, diesel. So this is what it looks like. Just want to make sure that it's the same thing. So when you look underneath here, right, there are some little holes there. So those are the holes that tend to block out. Then when you're driving, they don't like spray good. You know, then uh, the car will misfire. So this is the rubber I was telling you about. Just make sure that this rubber, you look down the hole, that it's not missing. There's one on this one now. Uh, so I'm gonna remove the old one. So can be able, if not, when you put this one in, the thing will not go in properly. We'll remove it from the old one. 
And uh, what we just do, we'll put some, uh, maybe some little, you know, break clean or what, man. Something that will make it so, so be able to go inside uh, easily. And just push it in. It's not a big deal. Just push it. Just make sure that. So that's basically, let me bring the take out the, the other connector that is coming right here is a six six millimeter one four. So I put it like so. You just open this. That is from this side. Like this. So I turn through this side. Just walk your way through it, you know. And uh, make sure you be wearing some glasses because gas is gonna really bust out there. So I'm gonna go back in there and try to install that. All right. So as you can see, like I said before, just make sure. See this rubber that is here. So the one on this side came out. So I put it back in. The rubber will just like so like this so the one that was on this one this number two it was still there so i have to use this guy to take it out because if you end up when the rubber is there you put the new one you end up putting this if something will not sit properly there will be a leakage so in case when you're taking this out just make sure when you take this out see if there's any rubber on it or if there's not you check in there make sure that it's there you didn't drop out you know, so the one that was there, I took it out and put it back in there. So you can take it out from here and put it back in, because when you go like this, it might drop. See, like this one is very tight, so that's why I didn't bother with it. So I just have to put it in like a little bit of lubrication on it. Lubrication. So now the thing is kind of difficult to video, but you have to literally lie down like you know. The one I was bringing it out and have to go through like this so that's the time you need to be careful because those rubber can they can drop out on you without you knowing but when it's in there there's a tendency it's better when you have it in there than uh, you try to you know the reason why I have this one in there because it's, a, it's brand new so the rubber is still very attached so now I have to so just make sure when you, after you're done with it, make sure that you check. Cause mine, when I was putting it, the rubber inside there came out on this number one. I have to put it back in. You see this little black thing right here on top of this guy right here? Just make sure you don't lose that. Cause that is the seating. It's on the both sides. See right there? You know, make sure you don't lose that. I know it's kind of hard to video. Then it's better because I didn't take out this uh, I didn't take out this guy when I was taking it off. So it's better you take off this right here. So when you put in, putting it back, it'll be easy for you to go in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reconnect everything, reconnect that, and then we're ready to fire this thing up. It's doable, just be patient. All right, so this guy right here is the only one that's gonna be a bigger challenge. It's a snap on. Once you do that, you put this guy right here. Protect it, you know. You just to connect the wire. That's pretty much it. It's kind of tight, you know. This guy is so tight. It's a very kind of hard to be here, especially. Grab it with your hand, but it's kind of painful. So, there's 
a host that is coming here. So there are two hoses. So I just saw the car, so the car is running right now. So just make sure, let me bring the, let me bring the, let me bring the camera. Just make sure after you start it, look at the back right there. Make sure that there's no leakage. No gas no leakage from anywhere. Let the car idle for a while, check it again. Because if there's a leakage, that car can catch the fire. While the customer is driving it. The car is running better, so I'm just going to let it idle for a while. Then yeah, pull this cover here and uh, cut it. So if you're going to do this job first, just make sure you have this. Like I said, I bought this from AutoZone. Make sure you have this guy, because if you don't have this guy, there's no way you can take out that four connector. So when you have this, that's the first thing. If you don't have it, don't even bother trying anything. But if you have this, I'm sorry about the noise coming. Uh, questions, comments, uh, just let me know how I'm doing. I will really appreciate you guys. Uh, I'll see you on my next video. The car is running there right now. So, KG, sign up. Peace. We are done.